Ying Stoller, Asian food cook, teacher, cookbook author, and entrepreneur, has brought her expertise to television, radio, print media, and trade shows. Now she brings it on the road. So here I'm at my little garden at work. And this is a very relaxing way for me. Sometimes I just come out here and do a little bit watering and to relax. So I have some green beans. This is my Asian green beans. You can tell they are different shape and they're getting pretty big uh, sometimes. Um, very meaty. So this is a, a Chinese sweet little melon. It's really uh, from Northeast China. Um, this is a, like between honeydew and musk melon. But the cool part is you can eat the skin. The skin is very thin, but right now it's still not ripe. They should have turned a little bit um, golden or yellow. So that means it will, be, no, it will be ready to pick, but not right now. So now I'm gonna show you a great way to grow tomatoes without seeds. So you just uh, take a cutting from a tomato plant. And then you put in water. Um, let probably, I will say maybe in water for about a week or two, you see roots started um, growing. And when they, the roots look pretty full, then it's time to plant them in the dirt. In Chinese cooking, we have a few delicious recipes using tomatoes. The most popular one is egg tomato stir fry, which I already have video for. So today I'm gonna make tomato egg drop soup. The tomatoes add a tang and an extra color to this traditional Chinese egg drop soup. First, I'm going to chop up some green onions. I'm chopping the white part first to use in cooking the soup. Then chop some green part, which I'm gonna set aside to use garnish the soup later. Let's dice up some tomatoes. Cut them into slices first. Then cut into small chunks. I like to use Roma tomatoes because they are juicy but not too juicy. Now I'm gonna beat up two eggs. I like to use a large measuring cup because it has a spout. So it's easier to pour the eggs into the soup. Beat the eggs thoroughly until it's blended. Now we are ready to cook. I'm going to add a little oil in the pan. And then when it gets hot, add white part of the onion. Then add half of the tomatoes and stir them. You can see a little bit of the red color from the tomato juice cooking with the onions. Once they are stirred together, add the chicken broth and the rest of the tomatoes. When the soup is boiling, add a little bit of cornstarch mixed with butter. Chinese people like very thin broth for soup, but if you like a thicker soup, just add a little bit of starch mixed with water, then add to the pan. Now it's time to use the spout on the measuring cup to slowly pour in the eggs. Keep stirring while you pour to make the thin threads of the egg. Finally, we're going to add some sauce for extra flavor. I like to use my Korean barbecue marinade. Just add one or two tablespoons to the pot and stir it in. Mmm, smells delicious. The finished soup is quite beautiful. The yellow of the eggs is accented by the ripe tomatoes. Then we garnish it with a green onion tops for extra color and flavor. Now it's time to take a taste. It's delicious. You got to try it. You can find Ying's Kitchen sauces with recipes right on the bottle at many local grocery stores. Go to yingskitchen.com for locations and more recipes.